What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up your Rock Party Aid battery powered Bluetooth speaker. Let's get to it. So first off the bat, let's talk about what comes in the box. So it comes obviously with the speaker, it comes with an included remote that allows you to control almost all the functionality on the Rock Party Aid, and it comes with our wall plug cable that allows us to both charge the unit or use it off wall power. So if you're ever going to charge it, on the back there is the port where you plug in this cable. You're going to take this end over here, and it can only go in one way, so line it up and push it in. And then the other end is going to go into your wall. And when you plug it in, there's actually an LED indicator that shows you that your unit is charging. Now to turn on the unit, there's a power switch on the top right over here, so if I turn that on, the LEDs are going to illuminate and also the party speakers are going to shine. Now if you ever want to turn off the party speakers, there is an LED switch over here. So if I turn that off, it automatically turns off the LEDs, then I can turn it back on and you're ready to rock and roll. Now another really cool thing about the LEDs is we program multiple different LED modes to fit the ambiance and settings of your party. So you'll notice a light button over here at the top of the unit. If I click it, I can actually filter through different light color modes, which are all beat sync, which means they're gonna go to the beat of the music. So I can filter through some of them. And there's a bunch of different presets that you can play around with, as well as just turning the lights off completely. Now also going along the top of the unit, we have our mode button over here, which is to flip through the different inputting modes, like Bluetooth, we have an aux input, a USB port where you can play music off of, an SD card to play music off of, but you'll also notice two quarter inch microphone inputs. So let me grab a mic and we can talk about that. So I have a microphone here, it has a female XLR on one end and a quarter inch on the other end. If I go ahead and plug it in, you can hear me come through the unit. And the first thing you'll probably hear immediately is the echo effect that we built into it. Now to control the level of the echo, you actually have two options. There's an echo plus and minus at the top of the unit, so if I go minus, I could get my voice completely dry to the point where there's no echo, or I could boost it up to where there is echo. Echo! Now another way to control the mic echo is from the included remote, which I mentioned before controls a lot of the functionality on the unit. So you'll notice there's an echo plus and minus on the remote. So same thing, I can go down in echo and get my voice completely dry, or I can go up in echo. Now one of the main reasons that we added echo to this unit is so that you can use it in a karaoke setup. So let me explain how you would do that right now. So what I have here is I actually have my iPad on an IPS 22 on a microphone stand. And what I'm gonna do is go into the settings of the iPad. I'm gonna go to my Bluetooth, turn it on, and then connect to the Rock Party 8. Paired. You hear that pair chime and you know you are now connected from the iPad to this unit through Bluetooth. Then what I can do is go to the YouTube app on my iPad or smartphone, and I can search the karaoke version of a song. Once I have that, I can click on it, and it's going to start playing through the speaker. Then I can talk into the microphone and use this as my screen to sing karaoke. And the cool thing is I can go up on the echo if I'm not the greatest singer. And another really cool feature that we added onto the top of the unit is our microphone jog wheel. So you can raise the volume of the microphones really easy or I can lower them and completely turn them off. This is just another great feature if you're emceeing a party and you want to hop on and make a quick announcement. Now on the other side of the unit, across from the microphone volume, we also have our normal master volume jog wheel, which you can see controls the master level of the volume coming out of the unit. So I'm going to play music really quick because I want to show off another really great feature that we added to the Rock Party 8, which is the mega bass button. So what that does is it just adds a little more low end so you can get a really nice party experience. So first I'm going to play with the mega bass button turned off. It sounds good. Really a lot of full range. It sounds really good on the low end. It's not really bright or hard to treble. Watch what happens when I turn on the mega bass button. On top of being able to turn on that mega bass button and really get that low end feeling great, you also have a two band EQ with the bass and treble on the remote, or you can access it from the top of the unit. And this gives you a little bit of fine tuning preference to really get the speaker to sound how you want it. So another really great feature that we added to the Rock Party 8 is the ability to connect two of the speakers to each other in TWS. And this is going to allow you to listen to music through both speakers at the same time in true wireless stereo, which is a great experience. Let me show you how easy it is to set them up in TWS. 
So the first thing you want to make sure you do is turn both of them on and have them both be in Bluetooth mode. So once you have them both turned on and in Bluetooth mode, all you have to do is on one speaker, go to the TWS button, which is right next to the mode button, and press it until it says TWS. Once you do that, they're going to be searching for each other and they're going to connect through TWS. Paired. Once you hear that pair chime, you know they are connected through TWS. And then what you can do is take your smartphone or tablet, turn on your Bluetooth, and then connect to one of the Rock Party 8s. Pair. You hear that second pair chime, and you know you are connected now through TWS. So when I play music, it'll be coming through both of them. <laughs> you can hear it right all the way. It sounds a lot louder and more full. And it's coming through both speakers. Nice. That's me. Note on TWS is that the TWS is only for Bluetooth signal. So if you plug in an aux cable to this speaker, it's not going to transmit the TWS over to here. And the same thing for the microphones. If you're plugging in your microphones into this speaker, it's not going to wirelessly transmit that microphone signal to this speaker. The TWS is purely for Bluetooth music. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful on how to set up your Rock Party 8 and how to use it in different applications. But again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time. <laughs>